What's going on guys? Matt here, back again with another video. Today we're back with another Ship My Cards Mail Day. Uh, so some cards I've been purchasing over from eBay USA, uh, as well as Facebook, Instagram, and all that sort of stuff. It's been just over the last couple of months. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. So uh, yeah, keen to share what I've been buying for you know my investments collection, or if it's a quick flipping purpose. Uh, I'll try and sort of detail what each of my plans are with some of these cards and yeah, you kind of get the gist of what's been going along. So uh, let's just get straight into it. Um, just letting you guys know my mood may be a little bit down because it took, this is the second time I've been recording this and the first time took 45 minutes out of my life before I realized uh, there was an audio issue. So let's hope this doesn't happen again. Um, but yeah, start off with uh, some probe scene stuff that I got. So um, yeah, there's a lot of these Colton Johnson optics and Don Russ's the optics were around seven dollars, and then the Don Russes were five dollars, and then the Consexons were in the pr same, uh, same price range. I don't hold these cheap slabs. I tend to try and flip them as fast as I can. Um, but yeah, you'll see as we kind of get along. So we have the Colton Johnson optics, uh, Colin Sexton, Don Russ, Don Russ optic, uh, optic for Colin Sexton. Um, yeah, so there was about 20, oh, it would have been like 30 of these, like sort of ending. So I just put a, a, like a really low snipe for a lot of them and then basically just got the ones that sort of met my bid, which was relatively low, around like five to six dollars US, as I was just saying. So um, yeah, Colin Sexton, Don Russ, Don Russ, Dylan Windler, uh, Colin Sexton, Don Russ, PJ Washington, Chronicles. I will talk about Chronicles a little bit long uh, later in the video about why there's going to be a fair bit in here. Uh, Colin Sexton, uh, Optic. Colin Johnson, Don Russ, and then the Colin Sexton Select. And then Peja Stoyakovic and Rui Hachimura Mosaic Red, PSA 9. Um, if you guys ever played NBA Live, this guy was unstoppable. He was, uh, yeah, he was pretty hard to guard. Um, and he's one of the great shooters of all time. You know, everyone talks about the Reggie Millers and the Ray Allens, but in terms of being a dead eye shooter, Peja Stoyakovic was definitely up there as well. Uh, let's go into some really nice cards here. So. Uh, we'll start off probably with the card that I um, sort of hinted at, you know, getting for this mail day. And uh, it's a Yao Ming rookie autograph. So I'm super, super stoked that I finally got this card. Been chasing a rookie autograph of Yao Ming for a long, long while now. And just haven't been able to find one that met my price range. Uh, but actually saw one being sold on a Facebook group. Someone tagged me in it and then messaged the bloke and... He said he actually sold out, but he had another Yao Ming Top's Finest autograph, um, and this was the card. So, yeah, I was able to work out a deal for this one, and I'm really happy with the price that I got it for, and finally able to, you know, meet uh, one of my goals, I guess, with collecting, and it's getting a Yao Ming rookie autograph. All right, next up, and I'm probably going to butcher his name, we have Hamzat Shemaev. Uh, select number to 199. So a bit of a funny story with this one. Uh, I was looking for a thumbs up card because a lot of people were speaking highly about him. I think there was a lot of hype leading up to his fight with Gilbert Burns. I don't know too much about UFC personally, but uh, past sales for this card were going for around 250 to 260. And this card was on Burbank for 190. Uh, it was really weird. And I was kind of thinking maybe there were condition issues. I know the centering was a little bit off, but I've seen PSA 10s uh, of the same card going like well, sort of well, uh, so, sort of off centered as well. So I thought it was interesting, and I just thought it was just worth a play. Uh, and I ended up just yeah buying it at one ninety. It's sort of come down since the fight because I think people didn't really uh, it didn't really live up to what people were thinking. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have this card and just enjoy him as a as an athlete. I'm not into the UFC, so yeah, having a thumbs up card is is huge. And I hope I said his name right because I said it three times there. Next up, Matt Ryan. Uh, I have spoken about you know Matt Stafford going to the Rams and then them being a Super Bowl team and then them winning the Super Bowl. Uh, Matt Ryan was traded to the Colts. Not sure if it's the same situation, unfortunately, because. Uh, at the stage that Stafford was traded to the Rams, he was much better than Matt Ryan was, even though Matt Ryan was an, a former MVP as well, but just more so because, yeah, Matt Ryan's a little bit older. I think he's 37, but the Colts are still a good team, and you never know, um, you know, uh, I'm, yeah, it's, it's he, hopefully he can bring that good quarterback play to uh, the Indianapolis Colts, uh, and yeah, just a little bit of a nice play here. You know, it's a, it's a really nice set as well, um, out of 25, rookie RJA, and yeah, we'll see how he goes there. Um, you know, worst case, he's still mm, a borderline Hall of Fame player, so we'll see there. Precious Chua, uh, Choice Infinite, PSA 9, and Jalen Smith uh, certified. So there's a bunch of these ones coming up, and I got them for $10 each. There's not many graded cards for the 2020 NBA draft class because obviously PSA halted their submissions. So I thought, you know, with, with, low, with low sort of amounts of 
2020 MBA draft class being put into grading, um, you know, for, for certified and all that sort of stuff. It's a low end product that's still more than likely maybe be able to, to flip it. Um, but yes, let's go on. So we have, uh, as I was saying, the certified. So we have Killian Hayes, SGC, one of my favorites, honestly, like, SGC is pretty much on par with BGS for me at the moment. Um, you have PSA, then these two next. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to be grading with them though, just because it is the cheapest, but the value isn't there sometimes with your low-end cards. But that, that makes sense. You don't want to be, you don't want to have a grading service where you can send in your base stuff and you know be able to palm that off. I think that whole that sort of trend is gone. But you know, getting your SGC slabs of players like your James Wiseman's for you know like seven or eight dollars, I think is, is a good play. Uh, Ramond. Ramondre Stevenson, Mosaic, SGC9. This one was $3. Uh, the Flux of James Wiseman. Uh, Zach Moss, DJ Chuck Jr., Silver Select. Jordan Love, XR, Kobe White. That was a mistake, the PSAA. I had a bit of a chat to um, the seller, and um, yeah, they wanted me to return it, but I'm in Australia, so it doesn't really work out like that. But whatever, I'll cop the loss. As I was talking about, the certified. Uh, Jared Goff, uh, look, he's on Detroit. I don't think he's that bad, but... Uh, I think Detroit's improved, and again, worth a little play. Why not? Uh, Chris Ups, Paul Zingis, the uh, absolute jumbo jersey, PSA 9, and then Goga Batazzi, selected 249. Um, the last two were uh, around 12 bucks. so, yep. Um, so some singles here. We have Luke Kennard. So I got a bunch of Luke Kennards. This This whole kind of package is a bit of a lot, but Luke Kennards were like, there was about 10 of them for around $3, and then the Shohei Atani's, we're around ten dollars, so I guess the more notable name, most notable name right now, and there's not much of it in Australia. I know in America you probably find it quite easily, but in in Australia there, there isn't that much Shohei stuff. So I thought at ten dollars a pop, it's probably worth it. Uh, and then some Chronicle stuff. Again, I'll go a little bit more later on to, into it. But as you see, Tyrese Maxey, Terrace Marshall, Wendell Carter, Tony Bradley next day. Nico Collins, I really like the Phoenix set in 2021. It's really, I I, I like it. I wouldn't mind getting a Zach Wilson. Uh, just a nice colored Phoenix card. And Phoenix is one of my favorite sets for, for the NFL. I wish it was uh, in the NBA, and it's just in Chronicles, unfortunately, but one of my favorite sets. Uh, Bruce Brown, Trey Lance, Aquarius Test, as we can see at the, at the, front, uh, at the front and then also on the back. Um, so my thinking with getting the Aquarius Test for Trey Lance is I don't want to spend too much money on Trey Lance. I am confident that you know the 49ers are a solid team, uh, and they've obviously put a lot of faith into Trey Lance, but more so the fact that he hasn't really played too much, and there's a lot of reports coming out that he isn't as impressive as he looks. Um, but anyways, the aqueous test, I, I feel like getting that for Trey Lance, it was $100. Uh, compared it to you know Justin Herbert, Mahomes, obviously those players are way more superior than Trey Lance, but... There's a, lot, there's a lot of room to grow, and then potentially if he ends up being a bust, Aquarius says it's still a short printed card. I was reading Blight forums and they were saying it was short printed to around 20 or less or something like that. So um, thought it was worth it. That would be my little Trey Lance holding, I guess. As you can see, the Shohei Itani is kind of piling up there. Zeke Naji, Kenyon Martin, Luke Kennard, Isaac Okora, and we have a bunch there. More Chronicles, uh, Shohei, Shohei, Shohei. <laughs> uh, more Shohei, as you can see. Wendell Carter Jr., Kennard, Onyeka Okongwu, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Jared Allen. Again, was a lot. These were like five dollars for like the ten of them. All right, let's get into some slabs. So, uh, Tyrese Maxey, SGC 9.5 contenders. Uh, this one was, I think, it was like nine bucks. I got it just before the playoffs, and then he obviously had a bit of a breakout. And I remember thinking, like, geez, it'd be pretty good to have this shipment back, uh, but didn't work out like that. Um, yeah, still, still liking it. Carson Wentz, so. Um, yeah, Matt Ryan got traded to his old team, and then uh, Carson Wentz was traded to the Commanders. I don't think Carson Wentz is as bad as people say he is. Seventy dollars for it out of two ninety, uh, sorry, out of one ninety nine. But yeah, I don't think he's as bad as people say he is. He did have a good season, but then the last few games he kind of obviously choked, um, and yeah, didn't it obviously cause the Colts not to make the playoffs, and then they got sick of it. So that's my play on Carson Wentz, Patrick Williams. Cam Reddish, Jalen Noel, Aaron Holiday, Amadou Diallo, nothing too noteworthy there. Uh, Darius Baisley, Cam Reddish, Select, uh, Calden Johnson, Optic Hollow. PJ Washington, I know this is Chronicles, but this is like, I like the eye appeal here, the blue along with his blue jersey. Uh, Dev Devontae Graham, BGS 8.5, Silver, DeAndre Hunter, and Chronicles of Kobe White. This one is actually starting bid, I got it for a dollar, so I was happy with that. All right, so next up, 
my first Alperin Shingun card. He's someone I'm not sure because I'm a Houston fan. I'm not sure if I'm going to be collecting or investing in him, but I really like him. I highly, highly suggest if you don't know anything about him, look up his highs on YouTube for his rookie. For being a rookie, he has a lot of highlights out there. Doesn't mean he's a good player, but like the tools are there and, the, and everything's there. And he was really hyped before the class, before the draft as well. So Alperin Shingun, press proof. Uh, Nico Collins, again, being a Houston fan, uh, got these two. These, these are obviously, as we can see here, they're actually case hits from XR and Origins, the originals and the XR base X card there. Uh, these were like just around 12 to $13 each. Uh, Shades, 249 Select, Tracon Smith, Callan Mond, Silver Spectra. Uh, Grayson Allen Silva, Onyeko Kongwu, Vernon Carey Jr., Jared Goff, uh, Nick Richards, the Asia number to eight. This one was like $7, so I thought for being such a short print card of a rookie, someone out there surely would want that. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Rapp, White Sparkle Optic, Joey Bosa, uh, DeAndre Hunter, Marquis, Zeke Naji, Private Signings, Kyra Lewis Jr., TJ Hawkinson, RJ Hampton. So this one's actually jersey, like the, the jersey number variant. So it's out of 13, 11, 11 out of 13. And this one was like 10 bucks. Again, it's a really short printed card. And there's another one similar to that coming up. Trey Mann, Alex Madison, uh, Taylor Horton Tucker out of 80, 88. Isaac Okoro, Mikhail Bridges. I uh, got a bunch of these coppers. So these ones actually do quite well in my eBay store. I know they're out of 355. So it's not like it's a low, low numbering or anything like that, but uh, I think people down here do like him a little bit more. So Van Jefferson, LaVisca Chanel, Cole Komet, the other elite I was talking about, Josh Kelly and KJ Hamler. Zach Moss, the, th the coppers that I was talking about, John Noels, uh, John Noel, Devontae Graham, Cam Reddish, Brevin Jordan, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Kevin Herter out of 50, Denny, Marquise Brown, Devon Reed out of 20, Aaron Neesmith. All right, I'll talk, I'll talk about Chronicles now. So there's going to be a lot of Chronicles in here. I, I actually find they do relatively well in my eBay. So I know in America, you can get them for like 5 to $6. Like the Tyrese Maxis that I showed before, uh, I got them for around 7 or $8. But I find on eBay, I'm actually able to generate a bit of a better sale over here. I can sell them for around 20 to $25. Uh, I think obviously because of the numbering and all that sort of stuff, it, it attracts collectors. And I know it's quite easy to get, but... In Australia, it is a hard card to kind of find. So yeah, that's why you see a lot of Chronicles here. It does relatively well in my eBay store. Uh, and yeah, it does. It's, I don't know why, it sells well. And I, I like them as well. I know Chronicles gets put off a little, a little bit, but for a collector, I think it's not a bad thing. So Cam Reddish Prestige, Isaac Okora Flux, D'Anthony Melton, David Montgomery, Josh Green Hyper. Uh, we have, so you're gonna see a bunch of CJ McCollum's here. So I got about 20 of them and they averaged out to be about three, $2.50 to $3 so each. Um, so the lots ended up being, uh, I think it was so 10 for $25. So yeah, $2.50 each, and there's gonna be a bunch of CJs here who played quite well for the Pelicans towards the end. So as we can see there, Josh Christopher, Goga, Zeke, Naji, Cole Anthony, Optic Hollow, Kadarius Tony, Josh Green, all the Aussies that watch my videos. What do you guys think of Josh Green? I, I know a lot of people put him off, um, but yeah, I don't know. He's, he's, he's had some glimpses and I, I don't mind him, but it's just, I don't know if he's going to have a role at Dallas. It's very interesting, but yeah, Josh Green's at 199. The Anthony Melton, Devonte Graham again. All right, final lot from this box. You have Josh Palmer, Spectra RPA. I think there's a bit of a sneaky play. I think he'll go quite well with Justin Herbert. So was, yeah, liking the patch and the order there. So that's going to be my holding of him. Uh, James Morgan, Don Russ Gold, Ty Jerome, Zeke Naji, Trey Jones, Vernon Carey Jr., Josh Green, Cole Anthony Astro, Onyeka to 249. Again, and Josh Green, um, loving the Cosmic there. It was 40 bucks. It was one of my more recent purchases. Again, I like the Cosmic sort of background. It's a lot of variants in select. I know people get put off by that, but don't mind it. Uh, CJ McCollum selects, as you can see, that's all CJ McCollum. Next up, Kadarius, Tony, Spectra, Bruno Fernando. I don't know if he'll stay at Houston. He was actually quite good for Houston. Very sneaky. Keita Bates, Diop, uh, Ella, not Elements, um, Dominion, Jalen Waddle certified, Armon, Ra, Same Brown, Josh Palmer, Jedrick Rules Gold was happy with this one being a gold. I think I got this one for like 12 bucks. And I mean, an offensive line, but you know, a gold optic. And I think it's the preview as well. So yeah, I thought it wasn't that bad. Johnny Manziel, uh, the red. I think this is, yeah, it's number to 125. So Johnny Manziel's a little bit, you know, a bit of a character, um, but that's all I'll say about that. Yudoka, Ab Ab uh, Yudoka as a boogie. Uh, Keita Bates, the op, so you'll see a fair few of these, but again, if you have any of this set, I am collecting it, and I will go through another point how, what I do need. Uh, Brevin Jordan, I uh, had a couple of these ones, does play for the Texans, the Optic Gold and the XR Auto. Uh, Raphael 
Fiziev, I don't know too much about him, but was listening to a podcast and they, they said he was going to be a potentially a good fighter. So really spur of the moment purchase. Don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but I don't, I, I want to see what UFC Prism was like. I had the, the Hamzat, um, you know, the Hamzat Select and then I had the Raphael Prism. So I want to just check out what the cards were like. Okay, so we have some, yeah, we have some nice ones here. So I do have to give a shout out. I don't know what his name is and I will put it up on the screen, but bloke hit me up on Instagram saying that he knew I collected this set uh, and I didn't have the Mobamba. And he said that, you know, I asked him, you know, how much are you, you, you wanting to sell it for? Uh, and he said, uh, look, what we'll do is we'll ground a price and don't pay for it until it reaches your uh, ship my cards address. And I thought that was really generous. Um, I would have happily paid it at the start, but uh, once he said that, I was just, it was such a nice gesture. It was one of the nicest things someone's ever done for me. And then, um, yeah, once it arrived, obviously I paid him and everything like that. But really nice. And one of my favorite patches that I've seen from this set as well. Really nice, chunky little thing here. There's another one I'm cu I've got coming up that competes with that as well. So I've, got, I've gotten pretty lucky with the, the, the latest two Noir cards that I've gotten. But yeah, I'm missing, I'm getting, I've gotten Jaron. Um, I'm missing a lot of the mid-end players so like your Robert Williams, Michael Porter Jr., Luca, um, yeah, we'll speak about Luca one day, but I don't know about that. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Wendell Carter Jr. Team Colored to 299, graded PSA 9. This one was 50 bucks. Uh, Kevin Gale, Silver Prison PSA 9 was like five bucks. And then this one's from Shop of Alex. Shout out to him. He was selling this under comps. It was like 80 bucks. Uh, this is for my collection because I collect the main man. And uh, this one's out of 49. So happy with this one. Uh, I always find it's a little bit harder to find. Uh, Garden of Minshew cards at a good price. All right, some more PSA slabs here. So I got this Nikhil uh, Optic lot of graded PSA 10, PSA 9, PSA 10, and a PSA 10. Worked out to be around $7 per slab. So there's some 10s here, and it's you know a low-end product. I mean, sorry, not a low-end product, it's a base. Uh, but for $7 a pop, and there's three PSA 10s. Thought it was worth it. John Collins, blue. Um, not justifying the price, um, or not saying that it's supposed to be getting to this price, but this card, raw, back in the day was like $50, because I was a massive John Collins collector, and graded PSA 9, got it for like 15 bucks, so it's obviously dropped a bit, and people are down on John Collins, but yeah, like like the card a lot. Tyler Hero, Chronicles Red, uh, this one's out of 149, PSA 9 was like 20 bucks. Matisse, was really happy with this one, had a snipe at around $15, $16, but ended up getting it for 11 Aussie dollars. And yeah, it's out of 249, the PSA 9 premium set. Uh, Tremont Waters, PSA 10 out of 42, not really in the league anymore, but got it for 15 bucks and thought it was worth the play uh, for a collector, hopefully. Jonathan Isaac, courtside. We'll see what happens to Jonathan Isaac, because uh, they'll potentially draft Chet Holmgren, and then you've got Wendell Carter Jr., Mo Bamba to all fit in. And Grant Williams, I got this one for eight bucks before the playoffs, and who, and who would have thought that he'd be potentially one of the more important players uh, in in the Boston Celtics team. So very interesting there. I don't know how that all worked out, but it ended up working out like that. Next up, a player I spoke about in my one of my more recent videos, Colton Johnson. This one was 80 bucks out of 299, grade the PSA 10. A little bit off-centered, so didn't really realize that going through photos, but the grade is a PSA 10. Uh, Jake Fromm out of 249, PSA 9. Uh, got this one for like 20 bucks. I feel like, you know, QBs do have a bit of a premium, and I know he's not playing right now as a backup, but if he does get that one starting opportunity for a few games, can, you know, palm this off potentially. Uh, LaVisca Chanel, Don Russ, Candace, SGC 10 was 10 bucks. And then got a bunch of prisms of Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I think there was like about six or seven dollars each. But, you know, starting and running back for the Kansas City Chiefs, it's base at the end of the day. But, you know, worth a play being, you know, on the, on the Chiefs, he's going to get a bit of ex exposure being on Patrick Mahomes' team. And they're actually a solid team as well. So, yeah. So my first ever uh, CSG slab, um, Goga out of 299, it was like seven bucks, but being numbered, I, yeah, I just thought it was, uh, I wanted to see what the, the CSG, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the lettering wrong, but I'm, I wanted to see what the CSG slabs looked like and, and in hand, and they're actually quite sturdy, they sort of feel like SGC in a way, uh, it's, it's annoying how the, you know, the letters SGC, CSG, oh, just, they're so similar, um, but yeah, I wanted to see what it looked like out of 299. It's not like an investing play there, but I wanted to see what it looked like in hand. Rui uh, Prism, this one's the variation. Brian Edwards, uh, Green Prism. Rui Mosaic, Base, and then the Daniel Gafford, PSA 10 Silver. That one was like 15 bucks there. So some more PSA slabs. So I got all these Dylan Brooks Optic PSA 9s for $7 each, uh, just before the playoffs as well. So there's like, I think there's about four of them. Aaron Holiday Scope Select, Darius Baisley Silver Select. 
Rui, Silva, Select, Daniel Gafford, the Green Prism, Colin Sexton, Colton Johnson, and then, yes, yeah, so we did have five in the end of the Dylan Brooks Optic PSA 9s. All right, last box to go here. Jonathan Isaac, Prism BGS 9. I got this lot of, like, I don't know where the other one went, but I got, got a lot of four Yao Ming Tops rookies for 20 bucks each. And funny enough, someone's decided to apply the Made in China uh, sticker to one of them, which is sort of ironic because he is from China. Tricon Smith Origins, Cody White, Black, Colin Sexton, there's the other one that I was talking about. Daniel Gafford, Meta, uh, Jalen Noel, Josh Smith, this one's for the PC, the Black's Tops Chrome Refractor. Uh, I owe a little bit of happiness to Josh Smith because uh, he led us to that uh, that player's victory against Chris Paul in game six, I think it was, that comeback. Uh, ben Simmons, Prestige, Jalen Noel, Onyeka Okongwu, uh, Revolution Auto, Franz Wagner. Got a, like 15 or 20, I think it was like 15 Malik Monk Don Russes for around, I think it was like six or seven dollars. So at like 50 cents a pop there. Desmond Bain, the Asian team all Obsidian uh, and Mike White Jumbo Patch. Oh, I've got some nice cards to finish off here as well. Let's go like this first. So go to the singles. Uh, Gafford, Mims, Morgan, Albert. So this one's a little bit of a sneaky play. So uh, Russell Wilson got traded to his team. Noah Fanta, no, no, Noah Fant was traded out. So he'll be his starting tight end. And with the way Russell Wilson throws the tight ends, could be a nice sneaky little play. So I've got a few cards of him. Not going to try and pronounce his last name. Kenny Martin Jr., uh, the white sparkle of Jalen Smith. I think it's a prerequisite for white sparkle optics and prisms to be so ridiculously off-centered that you can't get a 10 on them because I reckon I've owned about 10 white sparkle cards and they've all just been off-centered, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, I don't mind it because it's team colored match for, for Jalen Smith as well, but a little bit annoyed as well. But yeah, it's whatever. 40 bucks for that one. Anthony Gordon, this, this one was $10 and then going in line with people with QBs that I think have a little bit of a premium when it comes to cards. $10 for that, I'm happy with that. Mike Gasicki, um, Nick Claxton, Chronicles, uh, Yudiga Azubuki, Cubic, um, Zeke Naji. Uh, this one was like a dollar for the, it's, and it's actually numbered as well, the Chronicles for Jonathan Isaac. Jan McDaniels, so you'll probably see, a, yeah, there's gonna be a ton more of Chronicles in here. As I was alluding to before that, you know, I'm a massive fan of Chronicles when it comes to flipping. Okay, we've got, we got four nice cards here. So if you, you sit, you're getting sick of the low end stuff, uh, we got some nice ones. I'll flip them over so you can actually not see them. But Derek Carr, black. So this one's a bit of a team color one. Uh, BGS 9.5. It's out of, I think, $2.99. Yep. Um, you know, the Raiders uniform is black and white, um, but he's wearing a black red top there, which is a little bit annoying, but it's whatever. But I saw this, saw someone selling this for around 20 to 25% on the comps on Facebook. And yeah, we worked out a deal for it. Um, I was keen to get it because I actually don't think I've said this about Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, and now Derek Carr. I think all three quarterbacks aren't as bad as people portray them out to be. I think Derek, uh, Derek Carr is the better one out of the three. Uh, and I don't think, and I think the Raiders are a good team as well with Devontae Adams being traded there as well. And they've got a, yeah, a solid team around him. So it's just a tough division. So that's the hard thing. But I like the card and it was just my, again, one of my sneaky plays. So this is the other Noir patch that I was talking about that could compete with uh, the, oh, I've forgotten who it was, the Mo Bamba patch. But yeah, really like this one. Got this one for 80 bucks. They've come down a fair bit now. I reckon this last year, this would have been about $200. But with the market coming down a little bit, it's good because with set chases and stuff like that, it's become a little bit easier for me. Um, and $80 for this for one of the, I guess, one of the hot, better players in the draft class. Not saying I would invest in him, but yeah, one of the better players in that draft class. And then two, two cards of a player I highly rate. Tyrese Halliburton, we've got the blue ice, which is number to 125, and the purple ice to 175. Uh, this one actually, being short printed, actually costs less than this because this one's a bit of a team color match. So uh, yeah, I got this one. Oh, God, I'm pushing here. I reckon it was like 370, and then I reckon I got this one for about 320. So yeah, interesting one there, but I really, really like Tyrese Halliburton and wanted to get some cards of him. Uh, and yeah, there'll be some more cards potentially, hopefully in the future for him. Next up, Cam Reddish, Silver Select PSA 9, Grayson Allen. So going along with me loving SGC, and there's a, oh, I've got a bunch here. So Brandon Clark, SGC 9 Quartzite. I got this one for like $8. Uh, 
Uh, SUC 10 Silver, not saying Grayson On's a great player, but 10 bucks for that. You know, you're comparing that to a BGS 9.5, and I think it's worth it. Uh, and then the SUC 9.5, so these were like around uh, $9 to $10 each. Grayson Allen Silver, and then the Brandon Clark Silver as well. The player that I was speaking about as having a, a potential breakout season, Albert. I'm going to actually try and pronounce his name without knowing what it actually sounds like. So Albert Akwugabinum. Yeah. No good, but yeah, the green balsa uh, prism out of P yeah, PSA 9, so not numbered, but this one was like $11. Ty Jerome, I think there's a bunch here, so yeah, numbered, but was less than $10 for some nice numbered cards there. This one was like six bucks, and he's playing on the Warriors right now who are in the finals, but not playing. Actually, I don't know if he's playing. I think he might've got waves, or he's on their G League team now. But anyways, yeah, out of 299, it was like six bucks. And then Keldon Johnson, Donruss, PSA 9. All right, we're hitting the end of it. Uh, Shout out to anyone who's made it through the whole video. You guys are legends. If you enjoy the content, make sure you do like and hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, again, we're gonna have a lot of Chronicles here. So we have the Onyek Okongwu. So the Aqueous Test, as I was saying, you can't see anything in the front. Bang, Aqueous Test there. Luke Kennard, Cortland Sutton, Replay. Brandon Ayuk is someone I've been trying to find, but I feel like his prices have gone up a little bit too much for me now. But yeah, I think he's gonna have a key role as the potential number one receiver for uh, the San Francisco 49ers. So yeah, nice card there. Zach Wilson, someone I'm still trying to stock up on. I've got a few cards now, but I want to. I need to get. I know, oh, sorry, I need Prism to release because I want some Prisms. Isaiah Roby, Isaac Okora. So these are the Chronicles here. The XR. We have the Playbook, the Majestic. The Majestic sell well in my eBay store. Uh, Deontay Foreman, uh, Chimezi Matu, Thomas Bryan, a player I was looking at. Albert, Albert O, Albert O next. And then the final stack of cards here, Jalen Noel Choice, Jalen Noel Choice Prism Auto, Jalen Smith to 99, Miles Gaskin, Bogdanovich Crusade, that's numbered, uh, Chronicles of Kenny Martin Jr., Poku, Okongwu, uh, Majestic, Corey Davis Optic Holo, RJ Hampton Optic Mojo. We have the Daniel Gafford uh, Spectra. Oh yeah, I'll finish off with these cards here. So, I'll go with this one. Player that people try to avoid when it comes to breaks, especially with Memphis, because you have Zaire Williams. Uh, and then we have the Malik Monk Galactic. I got this one for 50 bucks, so obviously a case here. Really nice card, it's the first Galactic I've, I've ever owned. So uh, yeah, it was, you know, we'll see with Malik Monk next season if he stays at the Lakers or how he'll go, but you know, the Lakers fans do like him. I think he was probably one of their better players. And then we'll finish off with one of, some, uh, yeah, these are my, some of my favorite purchases. Not because of like, the fact that I might think it's an investment or anything like that, but uh, had this, it was on Probstein, and this is why I always encourage you guys to educate yourselves on cards and know the variations because, uh, yeah, they had this up, uh, didn't have the numbering or anything like that, it just said impeccable, it said Dominion and all that, uh, and I got it for $3 each, um, and if you know impeccable or Dominion or the metal cards, you know they're always numbered, so uh, the impeccables are, I think, out of 199 no, they're out of 99 so there you go, and the Dominion's out of 199 as you can see through there, and then that one's out of 99. So yeah, I've got that one for $3 each. Should be fine in terms of flipping. Um, yeah, impeccable. I mean, it's not a, you know, it's not your, your traditional card at the end of the day, but still, I think people want cards if they're numbered and with the Stainless Stars cards and the metal cards for Dominion, I think they work out. But yeah, appreciate it if you guys have made it to the end of the video. Let me know down below what you guys think of any of my purchases. If you have any comments or questions about what um, sort of my process was with some of these cards. Do ask me down below. I always reply to all the comments, so don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Also, let me know down below what you guys are buying up, and yeah, I'll see you guys on future videos. Take care.